So you got your two vaccine doses, or one if you got the Johnson & Johnson version. You waited the two weeks to reach fully vaccinated status. What now? I would start to slowly reincorporate some of the lower risk activities. Wesh 2 spoke with two epidemiologists about how one should approach returning to scenarios in which the CDC has recommended treading lightly, like the gym and dining out. I wouldn't say that we are 100% out of the woods. For the gym, UCF infectious disease epidemiologist Alana Cyrus says if you're in any sort of indoor class where you don't know the COVID or vaccine status of those who you're with, exercising caution is still key. If you're in um, a more personalized gym with a personal trainer and it's only two to three people, those people are vaccinated, you're practicing social distancing. In that particular instance, you may not want to wear masks and that's an option that we didn't have before. On dining, University of Florida epidemiologist Cindy Prince says outdoor is still the safer bet. I would still keep that mask on while you're going to the restaurant while you're looking at the menu. Bottom line is you can feel safer going more places and doing more things outside of your home, but keeping your mask on is the safer bet for yourself and for others because experts say the vaccine does not provide perfect protection. Some people have been symptomatic, so they've gotten sick and they get tested and they find out that they have COVID, but there are also some people who get tested because they are required to do that while they're at work. And we have seen people who are asymptomatically infected. Doctors will also be keeping a close eye on how variant cases could impact the path forward. Hadass Brown reporting, WESH 2 News.